This first poem came, uh, came after a, a visit to New York, and it really celebrates um, the delight of finding something by chance that turns out to be a treasure. And the poem is called Serendipity. Not the dizzy height of buildings, the zippy grid of avenues and streets, the traffic frenzy, multi-ethnic faces, incessant walking feet, the energy, pizzazz, Times Square world rendezvous, Macy's retail labyrinth, enough to know it covers seven blocks. Not all the pageantry of Central Park or Broadway glitz. To me, this city's gift remains a slender book, pre-used, green-covered, pocket-sized, picked up at a stall on 42nd Street, just as the taxi to the airport came. Such luck. Gitangeli, song offerings by Tagore, his sacred thirst. Sipping these liquid lotus mysteries, I'm quickened with the pulse that is New York. Mm. The last time I read that poem, someone said, oh, what was the book like? So this is the little book. Good <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. So, um, another little poem. Um, one of the most affecting things for me is seeing a baby taking its first steps. I can stop on the street, I mean, I'm driving the car and see a little toddler. Mm-hmm. It's just um, a wonder, I think. And this is written about um, a little grandchild uh, at that stage. And he's now three and a half. And I call it Everyday Wonder. Mm-hmm. I watch Luke wobble on his not yet 12-month feet across the well-worn laminated floor. How fortunate I'm here for this. Distracted by things coming into view, being just as quickly snatched, his brother Joseph's bugle, his sister's dangling tracksuit string, he totters on, arms raised like wings for balance. Heart-stoppingly, he almost runs to outstrip fear. From knee to knee, he takes off, shrieking, steadies, staggers, plops, clambers to his feet again, makes for his mother's lap, and laughing, nuzzles in. Feeling the tug, she cuddles him, resettles him on track. Kissing his curls, his father turns him, steers him past the point of no return. And the next one um, is called St. Bridget's Way. We're still in spring, so and it's not that long since St. Bridget's Day. And I don't know if any of you have the custom of uh, leaving out a piece of cloth on mm. the St. Bridget's Eve. Mm. I, uh, it was, yes. it was Tied to, to a me. tree. Rose has all that. <laughs> Tied to a tree. Well, this is to be on the yes. doorstep, or at least outside, yeah. anyway. <laughs> it was new to me, and this poem came from it. St. Bridget's Way. A group text on St. Bridget's Eve instructed me to leave a piece of cloth out overnight to catch St. Bridget's blessing. Skeptical yet game, I chose a sea green silken scarf with threads of gold, a present from Morocco, sealed in plastic against snail trails, insect traffic, damp. Next morning, walking early through the house, I noticed trucks out front, heard clatters, thuds, loud shouts, a clout of men about to set to work. The path I breathed. They're going to fix the footpath into town. Elation bubbled. I recalled the date. My doorstep scarf. Vowed to call the path St. Bridget's Way. Mid-breakfast, rising whines outside stirred doubt. A furtive glance confirmed. No gang in sight. An angry blade laid waste a woodland scrub. Mm -hmm. I quickly put my silly scarf away. Glad no one knew how far my wits had strayed. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> this mind that gallops wildly at a nod lacks Bridget's grit in seizing fields for God. Mm. If you know the story of Bridget and the Tobin. And the next one is um, written, what would you say, maybe an imitation of a poem by Elizabeth Bishop, who's mm -hmm. an American poet and who's on the Leaving Cert program, or was last year, you know, the last few cycles anyway. Um, and she's written a poem called One Art. And it really appealed to me and somehow um, it, was chime, you know, it was chiming in my head to, to kind of write something similar. So this is uh, what I wrote. And that, she called hers One Art, and I call this one Take Heart. You get quite used to loss. In fact, things slip away so stealthily, you hardly notice their departure. Practice making do with less. Diminished strength, gapped memory. Don't obsess or rave about your fading looks. Slack neck, receding gums. It's a continuum. Mm -hmm. You'll soon be dropping claim to all you own without regret. I've lost my childhood home, a sleepy town, a shop, a little river. But look, a scenic village holds my tenure now. My early ripples feed a greater river. I've lost my youth and yours. Love's precepts hard to keep. We'll die, of course, but death is not disaster. The bursting bud, unerring sunrise, Longing, all attest to life, a fuller life. Birds whistle it. There must be life hereafter. Mm. 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 Thank you.